Hi class, uh, I'm Professor Bill Tomlinson. I'm here in Bomber Canyon, uh, which is a park not too far from UCI. Uh, I just wanted to say welcome to ICS5. On behalf of the rest of the teaching staff, um, I'd like to thank you for joining our class. We think the topics of the class are some of the most important and pressing ideas in the world right now, and we're excited to have the chance to work with you around them. So just to tell you a bit more about the class, it's offered across the entire UC system, which means we, uh, we may have students from uh, some or all of the nine UC campuses, campuses. And those students may be taking the class all over the world. Um, they don't necessarily have to be set at their home campus while they're taking it. Um, we may have students who are traveling uh, and, and uh, viewing the lectures. And so if you have any issues with the class, please let me know. Uh, please let the teaching staff know so that we can make sure to make it work for everyone. So the focus of the course is on global disruption, uh, by which we mean things like sustainability and ad adapting to global climate change. It also focuses on information technology. So both computing as it is right now and also as it could potentially be in the future. And a third main topic that isn't in the title of the course but is nevertheless still really important is the idea of, uh, of well-being, both for humans and potentially other species. Oh, there went a bicyclist. Um, one key item that relates to this class is the topic of anthropogenic environmental change. So anthropogenesis uh, comes from Greek words. Uh, anthropos, which means human, and genesis, which means created. So anthropogenic environmental change is global change that has been created by people. And right now, uh, there are some really significant changes that are happening uh, to the climate, to biodiversity, to sea level rise, to ocean acidification that are really important and are changing the uh, ecosystems in which humans live. And there's a quote I wanted to share with you from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and this is from 2007. And they said that most of the observed increase in global average temperatures since the mid-20th century is very likely due to the observed increase in anthropogenic greenhouse gas concentrations. Essentially, what they're saying is that climate change is caused by people, and that's a really important thing uh, that forms the underpinnings for this class. This leads to some of the other topics I mentioned, things like sea level rise, uh, shifting growing seasons, and all sorts of economic and social transformations that go along with that. And so here we have a problem. The world is changing around us, and yet there aren't clear solutions about how to, how to address it. And that's part of what we're here to, to talk about in this class. So information technology, which we'll abbreviate to IT, or sometimes it's called ICT, Information and Communication Technologies, is an important part of how humanity can respond. However, it can't magically make the problems go away. Ultimately, at its heart, uh, these issues are human problems, um, and we'll need to confront them in, in human and social ways. Nevertheless, IT is among the most powerful tools that humans have right now to think about new ways of living and to bring about these, these new and different ways that we can live in the world around us. So a key question is, Will global disruption, climate change, and related concerns compromise our quality of life? And I'd like to say that in many parts of the world, oh, here comes a car. Bye, car. Uh, in many parts of the world, quality of life is already compromised. So there is a lack of nutritious food in many parts of the world, and there's a lack of clean water and air, and there is oppression, and there is financial inequality, and there's species extinction, and there's suffering of animals. And these things happen in various different spots around the world, but even in industrialized nations like the U.S., there are people who have unfulfilling jobs and uh, who don't necessarily um, see meaning in a lot of what they do and who eat unhealthy food and who have crushing debt. And there's an epi epidemic of loneliness that uh, surrounds us. So one of the premises of this class is that we think that we can do better, that the U.S. is a leader in the world, California is a leader in the U.S., the University of California system is a leader in California. And by taking this course, you have an opportunity to build something powerful across the entire UC system. So let's try to figure out if we can live together in a way that's great for us and great for future generations as well. Thank you again for being part of this class. Uh, we think it's going to be really great, and we're glad you're here with us. Thanks.